Nelly Chopper, and you're watching Net Grape Juice. Tune in for my interview. Let's get it. Love y'all. Jay McGregor here for that grape juice, and I'm here with Nelly Chopper. Very excited to be speaking to you. How are you doing? I'm doing blessed extremely well. Mm-hmm. Doing good. You're on the other side of the Atlantic from me from now. <laughs> yeah. What time is it over there? Um, it's currently 12. It's like 12 or 4. All right, 12. your lunchtime, my evening. We're doing all right. <laughs> yeah, we're cool. <laughs> we are loving the new project, Me Versus Me. Can you tell me a little bit about the concept? On the concept, pretty much Me Versus Me, I feel like as people, we um, we make ourselves our worst enemy, our worst critic, our worst um, anything. So I feel like with this project, I was battling myself with going back and forth with, should I do this or should I put this on there? Or should I do this? And at the end of the day, I feel like everything is all cool. Everything is divine. As long as you work hard to just do what you got to do, put it out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do what it's supposed to do. So I put the work in and I'm getting everything good out of it. And I appreciate it. As you should. Would you say you're your own worst critic? Are you really harsh on yourself? Yes, I'm, extreme, I'm extremely hard on myself. Um... I don't really give myself the props that I deserve a lot of the times because I don't know. Like I feel like I feel like it comes from me knowing where I'm gonna be at in the future. I know I'm gonna be one of the greatest to do it, but it's just be like when you're not there yet. Sometimes you question, like you just be like, you know, what am I doing wrong to not be there or you know what not? But I feel like I'm doing everything right now. I'm doing everything good. I just got to be patient. That's the biggest thing I need is patience. The persistency is there. So just need patience. You and me both. And you know what? It's all coming your way. You are doing amazingly. Now, sonically, how would you say that this is different from any previous releases? Um, I feel like it's, it's extremely different because most of the songs from my previous releases, I was freestyling. Um, on this on this song, it was two. I mean, on this project, it was two songs that was freestyled because... um because they were older songs that I wanted to give my fans, but the rest of the songs was written. And um, I written, I wrote the songs on a sober mind, a clean diet, um, not too many people around me. So everything about my music now is different because I'm more pure and more in tune with my thoughts and my feelings. So I feel like it's easier to get certain things off my chest and I structure it out right. It's like I paint pictures now. So I feel like this, one, this project is way better than any other project I've dropped. I'm hearing that and clarity, a lot of clearness there, especially of everything that you did. What was that regime kind of like when you've been really strict with yourself? Like what was your diet? What was your day looking like? Um, I, I eat on a vegan alkaline diet, no meats, no dairies. Um, I don't consume any drugs. I don't smoke. I don't pill pop. I don't sip lean. Um, I have a, my circle is everybody around me brings something to the table. Not Nobody leeching on or like no dead weight. So it's not too much I got to worry about, but myself, you know what I'm saying? Everything else is just building around me. God is making sure my outside, my reality is perfect. Um, I just got to continue to be the best person I can be. And um, that's what I was doing throughout the whole process of recording it. So I feel like I, y'all got the best version of me because I was steady working on myself. Love that for you. Best version of yourself at all times. Now, mm. is there been a defining moment in the recording process that will stay with you moving forward? Like during Me Versus Me, what moment were you like, yeah, like this is something I should do more often? Um, Just really writing my music. I feel like that that is what I feel like writing music. You know, I feel like life is all about a book sometimes. Um, a lot of the best the best stories or the best movies come from what's been written, what's been right, written down. And I feel like God, he gives you that ability. He gives you that pen and that pad to be able to, to, to put your thoughts on those papers or flow your thoughts better through the paper. And um, I just feel like that was one of the best gifts he's given back to me is to be able to write something down. Um, never never take for granted the, the beauty of poetry. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's all it is in poetry. It's helped me in so many ways to just express myself at this point. And I'm extremely appreciative of it. I just feel like it's only up from here. It is only up. And you've been really honest and open about that, especially with the personal change within yourself from mental health to the way of dealing with herbs. What has brought this about, this change in you and God as well? Like what has brought that about? 
I got to give it all to meditation. Um, meditation really opened up an eye in me to be able to know, you know what I'm saying, what to put in my body, what to be around me, what to talk about, um, what to pursue, and most importantly, purpose, um, being able to help and heal. You know what I'm saying, I feel like that's what I'm here for. I feel like God put me in a position to make music just so I can gain that fan base to keep on keep keeping them intrigued and keep being that role model and light. So I feel like with that being said, I feel like I'm just living in purpose every day and trying my best to improve that as much as I can. So clean hearted and wholesome. I'm here for it. You are the cutest. <laughs> now you just dropped the video <laughs> for Stomping and it's really cinematic. I would say it's your most cinematic visual to date. You had special effects, you turned into Batman. It was very, very sick. So what was it like actually shooting that video? It was long. I remember um, when we finally got to the Batman and Peter Pan saying, I really wanted to do that. But by the time we got to it, I was so tired that um, I really didn't want to do it anymore. So, But one thing about me, I'm going to push through because I got to make sure everything looked perfect. You probably couldn't even tell that the shoot was extremely long and, and that I was ready to go home, but I was ready to go. And, um, but it's still, I still push through it. There's a lot of my video shoots are like that. Um, I'd be ready to go because the treatments that I write out, it takes a lot to get them done. So sometimes we'll be we'll be on set from nine in the morning to um, four a.m. the next day, like and that's like 15, 14 hours. Sometimes I had to shoot for a whole day before, like twenty four hours, and I feel like this just driving me to keep going to make sure I complete what I'm doing. And, I'm, I'm very heavy on that. Once I start something, I, I got to finish. I can't I can't just stop and quit. You know what I'm saying? So. Definitely no quitting. And the fans have not been disappointed. I've got some of the comments here. Salmon Black mm -hmm. says, Chopper is never going to disappoint me. His lyrics and word late are pure fire. He has a great flow with good switches. And then mm -hmm. Convict 83 says, is it me or when Chopper uploads every day, everyone's day just gets better. This man mm. grinding, progressing every day, bruh. Much love, man. You never miss. Keep up the grind, Chopper. How does that mm. feel to hear? It feels beautiful because it just let them know how much they wait on me. My fan base is one of the strongest I feel like as an artist can have. I feel like it's one of the strongest because they don't want anything from me but to drop music. And, you know, I drop music. Last few years, I've been dropping music at a slower rate. But this year, I said, I want to feed my fans. I want to give it to them because they deserve it. They they, they really deserve it because um how much they wait on me to drop music. I see when I do drop, how much they appreciate it and how much they go crazy for me. So I feel like I feel like I owe it to them to go and just give them what they want one time. And I feel like I'm sitting on so much music that I can provide that. That's beautiful to hear because they really are appreciative and just seeing the smile on your face when I was reading that and it was, I saw you light up because you know how true the love is. Now yeah. you're only 19, but you've been active for a minute. What is the best and worst advice you, you leave so far? Because you know, sometimes that advice can be a bit iffy and other times you're like, raw, that's really mind opening. The best advice, the best advice I received is just being patient. And the worst advice is when whenever you're not being patient. So whenever somebody's trying to hurry you up or like, oh, you, you probably need to catch on, you probably need to do it. No, I feel like being patient is when everything flows. You know, you let the blessings chase you instead of you chasing the blessings. So I feel like that's that's one thing that I've really learned and one thing I've nurtured and matured. Like I've been patient like two or three years holding on to my best music or holding on to my best stuff just to get to this point where I'm at right now, 2022. And I feel like now I'm sitting on so much great music that I got everybody tuned in to where when I drop it, I know it's not going to get overlooked. Everybody's going to pay attention and really hear. And I'm just glad I moved the way I moved because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't have been set up in the same. Some of my best shit would have been out right now but people would have had to go back and listen to it instead of them just listening to it off rip and I drop it. So. Period. It's making a lot of sense right now. And I'm glad that, you know, you listen to the patient advice because sometimes it can get a bit much when people are just on your back and you're thinking, no, like, I know what I'm doing. I got this. Yeah, <laughs> on me. Now, outside of rap, what are some of your goals? Is there anything unexpected that I'd be like, rah, really? Um, outside of rap. Um, I got a vegan food truck, building that up, making sure that it's perfect before the year end, making sure that um, my herbal website, Elite Health and Wellness, making sure it expands to like herbal shops all across the world. Um, 
making sure that um I just help and touch as many people around the world as I can. Um, using my ability for light, being able to be that world changer. I'm saying that trailblazer, um, that sun, you know, everything good, everything great. I just want to be that for people. And um, when I, I feel like once I live through that and be that more, I feel like that's where my soul is, you know, the happiest. So I'm excited to see all of that come to life for you because you've got your head screwed on. And with that patience that you mentioned, it, can, it only one, the only way is up. There's only one way it can go. Thank you. What else is coming from NLE Chopper this year? You've dropped almost six singles from this project and I heard you saying you're sitting on a lot of music. <laughs> I'm dropping a lot. I want to drop a, um, probably like an album around June, June or July, like near the summer. Because um, I got a lot of summer smashes on my tape. So like, I got a lot of summer smashes in store. So I feel like I want to drop around that time and um, just be able to, to really... um. What really? makes it a summer smash, though? What is it when you're like, this is summer? You know, that feeling. I, I feel like a feel good. Whatever make you feel good. Whatever make you want to go outside and just, you know, feel good. I feel like when it's cold, feel good music is more so of an inside thing. But whenever you say certain things like, oh, top down riding, some, that's a feel good thing. Because some people probably ain't even got a top down, but some people might act like it. They might roll their windows down, stick their head out the window. <laughs> That's my top down. <laughs> yeah, what it is to be resonate with it. Um, I feel like it's just certain words that I put in certain songs to just give it that summer bop vibe to it, that summer bop. So. Well, I'm excited because, you know, in the UK, we don't get sun that often. So if my top's going to be down, I'm going to need an early chopper to be coming through for me. All right. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a little boy in the way. How do you juggle your music and fatherhood around young children? And congratulations. Thank you. Um, just making sure that that my baby mother's doing everything goes so far. Um, to be able to um make sure it's a healthy and a great delivery. And that's one thing that I go back to piggyback on the herbs. Um, just making sure she's drinking certain teas like clove or dandelion, which develops the baby's brain while he's in a womb. So little stuff like that. You know, it's always be the little stuff. You don't have to put too much, but the little stuff goes the longest sometimes because they do big things. So just doing the little stuff in between of all the work in the midst of working, you know, just make sure you be there is most importantly sometimes just basic skin to skin contact is, is one of the most important things, but just, you know, making sure delivery be the best way it can be. hundred mm-hmm. percent. And what has been your funniest dad fail so far? Kids are hilarious. I'm babysitting my little goddaughter tonight and they're just hilarious. What has been a dad fail for you when you're like, ah, oh, bad. Oh, I think I put a diaper on the wrong way. It, it, I don't know. <laughs> that was one of my funniest things. But other than that, I feel like everything is smooth. It's just funny in general. It's a fun experience in general. It definitely is. But you never know that might catch on. Backwards diapers, for them to take off when they start running around. Am I right? <laughs> might be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. You are very, very talented. I'm excited for what's to come. 